Hello everyone, welcome to Love Glue Creations, where we create and design for your inspiration. I'm Felicia, don't forget to like and subscribe, let's read. Okay everyone, so this tutorial, we are at a remote location. I'm actually at my daughter's house, the one that I made that um, baby shower wreath for. She had the baby, yay, she had a little girl, of course. Um, so we're here watching uh, her three sons, our three grandsons. That's eight grandkids for us, you guys. So four boys and four girls. We're so excited. Um, so anyway, we're in her home right now. And um, so we'll be doing this tutorial here. Um, so um, so one thing I would like to talk about is what my inspiration was for this week. And I have a customer that wanted a custom wreath to match her Christmas tree. So we're gonna make that today, but it inspired me to create a different one uh, using ornaments. So this is what we call, what I call an ornament wreath. And I wanna show it to you all. So, let's see. And because we're at a remote location, I can't really see myself on the camera. So my husband, you may hear him in the background, he's helping me. <laughs> So here we go. So this one is really pretty. Uh, I was inspired by the blue color of it all and um, all the different um, ornaments that I have in it and the picks and so forth. So this one will be listed in my Etsy shop um, today or um, once I finish this tutorial. So next we're going to show you the ingredients for the design that we're going to make today for one of my customers. Okay, so um, here are our ingredients for our wreath design today. Uh, this design, my customer, um, her tree is brown and black and white and maybe some sparkle of gold. So I decided to incorporate all that into the wreath using the same design that I used for um, the one I just showed you. So we're gonna use two uh, big black and white balls. And these are really pretty. These came from Craftex. I have some brown and white kind of yarny balls. Looks like that, that's gonna be really pretty on the side. I got some really pretty uh, striped ribbon and some brown ribbon with some stripes, uh, black and white color on the side. Sorry, I dropped that. And then we're going to be using various picks within it. And I got these from Hobby Lobby and I've used these before in my, my long uh, tablescape with the, the Christmas boxes. So these, these are really pretty, they're a hit for me. I have some really pretty uh, black and white berry picks. I found these as well at, um, I believe I got these from, from at home. And of course we're going to use our base, which is going to be our pine base wreath. And, um, oh, and I have these picks as well. So these also came from Craftex. So it's gonna help it sparkle and give it that extra poof and emphasis on the texture of this wreath and make it stand out really, really pretty. Um, I'm also going to use some mesh. You know me, we gotta use mesh. This helps stick everything to the wreath with our glue. Um, and I wanted to say this too, that baby shower wreath, it, remember it was a gift wreath. It was such a big hit. So I'm gonna be making some more of those and posting those as well in my Etsy shop. I'm gonna make some more girls and I'm also now going to incorporate some boy uh, baby shower wreaths. So, um, oh, one other thing. I'm also gonna be adding some, some black Balls. I got these from Hobby Lobby as well. So we're gonna incorporate some of these just to help pop that black and white and brown look. And at the end of this tutorial, we're gonna show you the tree, what it looks like, and y'all tell me if, I'm, if I did okay. All right, let's wreath. And just a quick FYI, you guys, y'all know that not everything that I show you we're gonna use in the wreath. It's just a matter of what, what, we, what I pick, what fits, and when I feel like it's too much, then we'll, we'll stop using those things. All right. All right, so I'm gonna cut some mesh, and I know my for you, my subscribers, you've all seen me do this, but for those who are watching for the first time, I just want to cut a few pieces so that you can see, you know, what I'm doing and, and um, how long I cut my mesh for. And again, we're using the mesh to apply to our pine base, so we can um, help uh, attach our uh, embellishments to our wreath. So we're gonna cut it at a 15 inch. Uh, I'm using a 10 and a half inch by 10 uh, mesh style and this is I picked this brown style because again it goes and it will match the background of what I'm creating for this wreath so every time you want to do if you want to use mesh for your wreath make sure you you um, select re, uh, mesh that matches your embellishments it could have been I could use brown and white I could use brown and beige but I'm just going to use brown for this one in particular 
All right, and we're just gonna cut it in, in 15 inch, 15 inches length. And, um, oops. And I would say it probably takes about maybe 12 to 15 of these to apply and attach to our wreath base. So I'm not gonna cut all of them during this tutorial, but I just wanna show you all how that particularly works, all right? So I'll finish cutting and we'll be right back. All right, so next I'm going to fluff out my wreath base and get all the pines up because we're this is where we're going to attach the mesh. So this is typical when you wanna add embellishments and you wanna use mesh. You can also attach embellishments without using the mesh. This just helps when you have a lot of embellishments, especially picks, it helps them stick better with the glue. All right, so then to give it that swag look, I'm going to squish the wreath base, make it oval shaped, okay? So that helps it elongate the look of the wreath as well. And you could also buy a swag, um, either or, but this is the same thing. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take our mesh, roll it, and cinch it in the center, just like that. Make like a, a little bow. And start tying it with the pine ties into the wreath. All right, do it again, cinch it. Again, we're just making a palette within the wreath base. And this is how we're going to glue and attach all of our embellishments. All right, I'm gonna do one more and we will be right back. Okay, so we've gotten our mesh attached to our pine base. Next thing I wanna do is because we're gonna put those two big black and white balls in the center. So next we're going to go ahead and glue our um, big ornaments in the center. So I got them lined up strategically so that it flows really pretty with the design. And all we're going to do, and we're gonna cover up this, this top piece with ribbon and so forth so we won't see that. Um, but I, this one, the bottom one, I made sure that that piece is hidden down inside so that the bottom of the design um, is uh, has this flat piece on it as well. All right, so here we go. And it's just a matter of putting enough glue on your ornament so that it sticks really well. Thus the reason for our mesh, all right? Be generous with your glue, trust your glue. I use Gorilla Glue. I have it linked in my description below. So if, if anybody wants to order glue, Gorilla Glue, it's the only glue that I use. All right, so we'll stick it right there. Put it down, let's work on the other one. We'll give that one a chance to set. All right, do the same for this one. Be generous with your glue. And always try to use lightweight products because they they sit really well in your design. Do not weigh down your design and they're very pliable and easy to work with. All right, so we're gonna make sure that we get that piece underneath the other one. We'll just hold it down. Push it down and let it do what it do. All right. Okay, we're gonna give it some time to set and it's gonna sit really well. And as, as we add more picks and so forth, it'll there'll be more glue added as well. All right, so just don't be afraid, again, to apply that glue. We don't want anything falling off. Y'all know that's my thing. I don't want anything falling off and it gets shipped to my customers. I'm gonna make sure they get a quality product it's not gonna fall apart. All right, so now that that's set, they're in there really good. Next, I wanna start adding our sprays around the perimeter of our base. 
So I've used these before, a different color for um, another design that I did, but this one allows me to have at least two picks out of this one. So I'm going to cut um, my pick. So there's one. And the, like I always say, the great thing about buying picks is you want to look to see how many branches can you actually get out of it. And um, it helps enhance your design and it also allows you to, um, to get more picks out of the bunch. So this one, there's one, here's two, three, and four. So and these are going to go around our design. I'm just going to glue them in. And so we're probably going to use probably eight. So four on this side and four on this side. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. Actually, I can cut this one again. This gave me a lot of to work with here. It's perfect. All right. And so what this is just going to do is just going to broaden out the design and add that extra pop. And I just place them where I want them to be. I don't glue them in yet. Just put them where you want them first. Make sure they're aligned symmetrically around your design. And as I'm putting, placing them, I'm putting them on top of the mesh. So that's what the mesh is for, to help our picks stay and stick. All right. So. Don't put this one at the top. This one is pretty long. So let's long pieces. I always put the longest pieces at the top let's see, and at the end, top and the bottom. So we'll push that in there a little bit more once I turn it around. I'll cut some more. Sometimes your picks can definitely get um, distorted in their packaging and Feel free to, to um, fluff them out where needed. All right, so let's keep cutting. I keep applying. Okay, and there's my long piece for the bottom. Fluff them out, straighten them out. Very pliable, easy to work with. Two more at the bottom. Fluff out your picks. And again, this is just giving us a little bit of pop around our perimeter of our design. We flip it out. Okay, so you can see it starting to form and give it sparkle and its shine. Just stuff this one further in at the top. Make sure it's in there. And it just elongates the top as well as elongates the bottom. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get these glued in and we'll be right back. All right, so I forgot to show you all these picks right here and I'm adding these. So I added these, um, the pretty uh, sparkly ferns on the inside perimeter of the design, but I want to add these 
on the outside. So they, they flare out and it kind of gives it more of a fullness on the outside. So this came from Hobby Lobby as well. So I'm just gonna take off, you don't want the pine cone. And the this is one where there are two picks on it. So I just tear it down and see, we have one pick. And then I tear it down too, and we have another pick. All right, so what we're going to do is, I'm going to place these, I'm gonna do three on each side, and it's just gonna be, help you long, uh, add more depth to the outside of our design. All right, so let's get them stretched out. And let me go ahead and place three on each side. Let me go ahead and finish tearing them up. I have a smaller table too, y'all, because I'm with my daughter, so I feel like everything's all crowded. So bear with me as we make it work, make it happen. And by the way, I have three daughters. And so amongst all three of them, we have now eight grandbabies. So my oldest daughter has two girls. My middle daughter has three boys, now a girl. And my baby daughter has a boy and a girl. So um, we are proud grandparents of everyone that's born. We're there for each one. Um, and it's such a special, wonderful blessing for us as our family continues to grow. It's, it's great. And we love our grandbabies. Um, we have something that's called the grand patient every quarter and we have all of them at our house for at least four to five days, me and my husband. So they get to, all the cousins get to be together with us and we have all kinds of fun activities for them and there's no electronics and they have to, um, be engaged and involved and we go on outings and all kinds of fun stuff. So it's, it's a fun time for them too. They love it. And so it's part of our new family tradition, our grandcations. So, and even when they come over to our house, when it's not a grandcation, they think that it is. <laughs> we keep them separately sometimes. Like, no, not this time. All right, so you see how that's, um, I added the picks there and it kind of gave it more of a, enlarged it a little bit on each side. So I'm doing three on each side. So I think that turned out pretty, looks really good. I'm gonna do three on the other side and we'll be right back. Okay, so here's where we're at so far. I still gotta glue in those green picks. So what do y'all think? So far so good? All right. So I'm gluing in the sprays that I just supplied. Make sure they're secure. We can also use the ties from the pine base as well. And I may do that depending on how secure I think everything is. But you gotta, again, like I said, trust your glue. It's awesome, especially when you have your mesh as your base. So this one, I'm gonna go ahead and secure that with the ties. Just so y'all can see, use your ties. And then once you tie it in, go ahead and glue that again. Just that extra security because these 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 picks are a little heavier because they have that wire in them so i'm definitely gonna make sure they're secure okay so i was gonna add these and i was gonna add these to the the top and the bottom and give it that more of a brown kind of elegant look but i don't think i want to do that and like i always say and whatever i select to use um, us designers sometimes we change our mind but what I think I want to do because I love how this green um, flocked um, sparkly flocked picks are looking I'm just gonna fill it all the way around so I'm gonna fill the top with that I'm gonna put them finish at the top I'm gonna finish them at the bottom so it circles the entire design all right so I'm gonna place these strategically in there Finish cutting my picks apart and be right back. So next I'm gonna make the bow 
and I'm making a bow for the top of the wreath and for the bottom of the wreath. Each loop, the tails are going to be eight inches long. Each loop is six inches long for my first bow, which is 2.5 inches. My second bow uh, is going to be, uh, uh, the loops are going to be five inches and the tails are going to be eight inches as well. All right, so here we go. And um, I like this because it has the blue, uh, sorry, the black and white checker on it as well. So it goes with the, the black and white long bow, long ribbon, and it matches the brown that we're adding into the wreath as well. Here we go. All right, so next what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply our bow and I am going to tie the top bow using the ties from uh, my middle piece of my bow. What I'm going to do is take that middle piece and attach it right onto this um, pick. So it stands out, it stands up, and I don't have my pipe cleaners, but that's fine. Again, we're improvising and we're going to tie that. Let me show you as I'm doing it. I'm going to tie that right around that pick so it stands out really well. Nice and pretty and perfect. On top. 
There we go. Let's get it to the I want to get it down into the, the stem. That way it's on there really, really good and secure. And it stands out. And it's also going to cover up that little knot, the hook part of the ball, of the ornament. If I had my pipe cleaners, this would be a lot easier. But again, because I'm working remote, that's fine. We'll make it work. All right. So what I'm going to do is just add a dab of glue on that also. And make sure it's in there. All right. So let's get that there. Make sure it's secure on there. Just how we want it. Okay. All right. And I also dovetailed our ends of our bow and just have them cascade down a little bit just like that just like that all right so do the same at the bottom so we're going to apply our bow that i created for the bottom I'm just going to secure it right here, kind of, kind of cat a corner at the bottom, okay? Just to give it another flare and some more beauty, we're going to use the same tie. So I'm going to dovetail the ends of my bow. I know I've showed my subscribers this tons of times, but again, we may have new watchers, new subscribers, and um, so when you dovetail it, Gives it that pretty triangular look. All the way around. Okay. All right, so I'm going to take the piece of the ribbon that I used to tie my centerpiece. So I have two pieces back here and I'm gonna attach those to a piece of my pine tie. Find some pines, pull them through, and use that as your security to secure your ribbon at the bottom. I'm gonna do that and we'll be right back. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is start applying some ornaments. So what I'm gonna do is um, add some brown, well, these kind of like a golden brown on the sides here, just to kind of make it pop there. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that and glue, apply some glue. And I got these from Hobby Lobby. They come in a big pack of what like, looks like this, but bigger. So Hobby Lobby has all kinds of different colors that you can use to enhance and embellish your designs. Pretty cheap. And um, it's always good to have that budget, those budget ornaments for moments like this. We just need to fill it in. Make sure we get enough glue in there so it sticks really, really well. All right, so those are in there. Now next, I love these, and so they go with the brown and black design that I'm going for. So I'm going to apply one up here and one diagonal down here just to kind of help give it that balance of the design. All right, so I'm going to cut off the tag and this, the hanger. We don't need it. Just cut my hand. This is styrofoam, so it's gonna apply really, really well. So one right there. And one down here. So let's glue the piece 
the area, the side that I tore, that I cut off the, the tag. Next, I want to apply some black balls, and we're going to use different textures of black balls. And we're going to use another big pack from Hobby Lobby. So I'm going to take out some of the, the glittery ones and the shiny ones. And these are good to have on hand to have for all kinds of designs. All right. And what I want to do is I want to apply some within the center of the bow. I think that'll look really pretty. All right, so let's do that. So we're gonna apply a nice shiny one in the center of this bow. And we put it in hook down so you don't see the hook. And I'm going to apply one at the top, just like that. Hook down. And all right, so, so far so good. We got all of our embellishments. I think we need one more. This is a, a pretty matte look. So we'll go ahead and apply some glue there. enough to get to make sure that we're bringing out the colors that we want to bring out now one thing that you can see is we have somewhat of a gap right in, in here and this is where I'm going to start I'm going to add some of these picks just to have them spray out just a little bit so I'm just going to cut them very short we don't need anything long long enough to be able to stick within and just kind of stick out a little bit so I'm going to add some black and white mixture so we're gonna start with some black add the glue Stuff it in there, just have it stick out just a little bit, just so we can fill in the center gap. I'm going to alternate with this black, and it's actually a cream. It's cream berries. These are really pretty. So I think that'll be really nice in the center, just to give it a little bit more texture and some other type of embellishment. And we're just filling in that gap so it doesn't stick out so much. And it draws your attention from it having a gap and you actually see the berries. I thought that was so cool that they had these black berries at Hobby Lobby. I'm like, yay, definitely what we needed. All right, so I'm gonna add just a little bit more, fill it up just a little bit. Real simple, just tear it off and glue it in. Let me finish that and we'll be right back. Okay, we are finished, you guys. Here we go. And then we're definitely gonna show you the tree design that my customer has. All right, so how is that look? I hope I nailed it. I love the center balls and all the brown and the embellishments around it. Very, very pretty. What do you guys think? Oh, I nailed it once. <laughs> All right. So, don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Um, and now we're finishing up our Christmas uh, designs. I'll be doing more designs throughout the month of December. And then we'll be kicking it off for spring and Easter and all the next holidays around the corner right after December but um, for the most part we'll be seeing more Christmas designs all right so again don't forget to like and subscribe